Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best tablets for video editing on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best tablets for video editing. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mention in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. The best tablets for video editing are so much better than they used to be. Once, the idea of video editing on a tablet might have seemed like a pipe dream, now, with the raw computing power that most mainstream tablets contain, they're basically slimmed down laptops. This, plus the ever better quality of tablet screens, makes them a fantastic choice for video editing. If you're constantly on the go, having a slim, carry everywhere device that's capable of video editing feels like it's surely a no-brainer. Whether you work with Apple, Windows or Android devices, it's easy to slot a tablet into your workflow, and the apps and software are getting better all the time. You can check out our lists of the best video editing software and best video editing apps to find out exactly what you can do on a tablet. Or try out our list of the best MacBooks for video editing. So, if you're a busy content creator or just someone who fancies learning a bit of video editing on a tactile, touchscreen device, the best tablets for video editing have got you covered. We've put together this guide to include products at a range of price points and for different operating systems, so whatever your needs and your setup, there should be something here for you. Number 5. Asus C302CADHM4 Tablet for Video Editing. You can now show off in style with this 14-inch clamshell laptop that contains HP's most cutting-edge technology. Whether you require a multimedia box or an all-purpose machine, Asus has what you need. Thanks to features like touch screens and full HD, editing videos is easy. A 4-way nano-edge display with ultra-narrow bezels on both sides of the screen provides plenty of space for quick performance. Also, the 8GB LPDDR3 RAM and Intel Core M3-8100Y processor provided me with enough power to get my work done quickly. Therefore, I no longer had to worry about my tablet freezing. You can now enjoy a longer battery life that gives you hours of working time on a single charge. The Lenovo Chromebook is everything you could possibly ask for, according to Forbes. You can watch movies and videos on the 14-inch 1920x1080 Full HD Touch Display. The processor does not require a fan because it runs so quietly. With the Asus laptop, you won't want to leave it. As this device runs on Chrome OS, all of the Google apps can be accessed through its suite. It also features an intelligent AI system that can detect when your battery is running low and close out applications accordingly. With this tablet, you can have the power of a notebook coupled with the convenience of a tablet. With 64GB of storage and two USB Type-C ports, it offers the best of both worlds. Number 4. Samsung A7SMT500 in Saxer Tablet for Video Editing. Sure, you can get Android or Apple products that are flashier. But few provide the same level of bang for buck as the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. It's one of the best gaming tablets around if you're trying to save money and aren't keen on getting an iPad. While its Qualcomm SM6115 processor won't be able to keep up with more expensive competitors, the Tab A7 is still miles ahead of cheap and cheerful alternatives. That means it'll be able to take most games in its stride. Indeed, it'll only struggle when you ask it to run more demanding software or lots of programs at once. A sleeker design with smaller bezels helps maintain the image of quality, as well as looking modern, it allows more space for a larger screen. In turn, that's backed up by a quad speaker and Dolby Atmos for a more cinematic experience. You get some cool toys to play with despite cutting costs, too. Namely, the A7 features facial recognition for faster unlocks. After using the feature for a while, it's difficult to go back. Reasons to buy. Cheaper Galaxy Tab. Fast processor. Lightweight. Reasons to avoid. 
screen could be sharper. Do more of what you love. Powerful processing speeds and upgraded memory means you can do more, and keep more, of the things you love, apps, videos, playlists, and beyond. Number 3. Samsung SMT870's Kaxer Tablet for Video Editing. If you ask me, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is the best Android tablet for video editing that is available in the market now. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus comes with a pressure-sensitive pen and an optional keyboard, making it the first tablet to include both. Moreover, it features a large trackpad, which gave me creative choices regarding how I worked on this large, immersive screen. A resolution of 2560 by 1600 on its 12.4-inch Super AMOLED display amazed me. With Dolby Atmos Audio Leveler technology, AKG Quad speakers produced an incredibly loud sound in my room. As a result, I could hear sounds clearly and there was no space between my hands and the rest of my body. In the world's most remote places, where cellular internet is either not available or difficult to access, Wi-Fi connectivity offers flexibility. When traveling with family or colleagues, it supports both hotspot and tethering modes for shared device connections. Having a Galaxy Tab S7 Plus within my reach meant that I could take the tablet anywhere. You are about to discover the device that will make your life a little bit easier. The TFT LCD screen makes it easy to multitask with apps designed for multitasking. I use the optional keyboard in DeX mode the same way I would on a laptop. This is a simple way to get my urgent responses out to my clients. By maintaining a 9 milliseconds pen latency, I was able to get the best performance when editing photos or videos. Pros. Powerful processor. DeX mode. Storage space. Updated S Pen Stylus. Cons. Keyboard need to buy separately. Small keys. Number 2. Microsoft QWU00001 Tablet for Video Editing. Professional video editors looking for a second device to handle tasks like video reframing and real-time effects will find the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 a good choice. Despite the fact that the Pro 6 is an impressive device, the Pro 7 edges it out due to the Wi-Fi 6 wireless standard. The 12.3-inch PixelSense screen seems to be a good fit if you are into double exposure patterns and 4K video editing. With regards to the resolution, it comes in at 2736 by 1824 pixels with a 3-2 aspect ratio. Furthermore, with a 69% DCI-P3 color gamut, editing works well with color-based imagery. A 10th generation Intel Core i5 chipset powers the same. As an added bonus, you get the Iris Plus graphics card to help you with visual rendering. It features 8GB of RAM for decent multitasking performance, while the 256GB SSD allows you to save Windows OS and other applications such as Premiere Pro without any problems. When it comes to compatibility, it supports VideoPad, which even assists with 360-degree creation and commercial editing. The Metal Pro 7 weighs 1.70 pounds, measures 11.5 by 7.9 by 0.33 inches, and measures 11.5 by 7.9 by 0.33 inches. Although it might seem thicker than usual, it more than makes up for that with the fastest wireless standard, multiple USB ports, Bluetooth 5.0, as well as a Surface Connect port. Pros. A keyboard is included in the package. All PC apps are supported. The display is bright and vivid. Batteries that last longer. Processor with high performance. Cons. The quality of the camera is poor. Very expensive. Number 1. Apple MYFQ2LL slash a tablet for video editing. The iPad Air 4 screen, charging and performance make it one of the best iPads ever, as it's essentially a more affordable iPad Pro. 
The $599 Apple iPad Air 2020 occupies a pricing tier between the $329 10.2-inch iPad 9 2021 and the $799 iPad Pro 2021 11-inch. It's a mid-range iPad option for those who want pro-level perks without the need to pay up to a grand with the Magic Keyboard. But is this iPad great enough to spend almost twice as much as you would on the standard iPad? I'd say so, as it's my new favorite iPad. Not only does the 10.9-inch iPad Air 4 impress with its flat-edge design, which has the cool color options of the iPhone 12 in the shell of the 11-inch iPad Pro, but its Apple Pencil, 2nd Gen, and Magic Keyboard support mean it's more capable of replacing your laptop, provided you spend more for those accessories. It's also got speedy A14 Bionic performance and USB-C charging, two upgrades I wish the normal iPad could get. This iPad Air 2020 review will explain how the tablet's only real downsides are comparative issues you might not notice otherwise. Its screen is bright and colorful, but competitors shine brighter and produce more color. Oh, and its long battery life is outpaced by two of its competitors, which include the normal iPad. Pros. Elegant thin and light design. Super fast A14 Bionic processor. Bright, colorful, and sharp display. Excellent webcam. USB-C charging. Magic keyboard and second-gen Apple Pencil support. Cons. No Face ID, RIP Headphone Jack, Expensive Accessories, 